This is the project I've been discussing with you, Nigel. I've combined the architect's drawings into one document to make it easier to view. This long corridor here means it's been provided as two drawings. The um, plant room that we've been provided is a decent space um, and there was originally the door in here and a cold store here which we've discussed with them and they've now moved that outside the property because of the heating underfloor heating etc that we're going to have so the wine store is now down here uh, the architects and I discussed putting a concealed AC unit in this storage space here but it occurred to me as I was looking at the drawings last night that there's an MF ceiling going throughout the open plan lower ground floor so we could stick the AC unit in that um, it's a, a double height over the living room uh, as uh, you'll notice it says void over and if we scan up to the floor above I thought we could beef up this wall and we could potentially at high level uh, put one or two units in here um, one dealing with a snug and one also pouring down over onto the uh, living space so it's not just heating, cooling and plumbing, we're also putting a ventilation system in this property um, so the architect's given us a riser here you'll spot that in section 7 um, as you pan up uh, you'll see there's a chunk taken out of bedroom 4 um, and they've given us a good size riser very helpfully for us to get our surfaces up and then there's a ceiling detail which I'm going to put a picture up of right now and this is useful because this is part of the building that's remaining in the barn so we're going to have a, a void there that we can run our services in and then there's a shadow gap you can see at the end with the LED lighting going across um, which would be nice to work that in with the locks on so that they can colour change that and then of course from this riser we can stick AC units if we so wish in the storage of bedroom 4 we can do the same with bedroom 3 um, they haven't expressed that they want AC in these rooms but I think it would be something we could offer uh, in the office I think that's kind of a no-brainer um, that we could stick one in there in that office and of course if we wanted to we could also do bedroom 2 the guest bedroom and because we have this void that's coming across in that ceiling detail we can easily run our um, pipe work all the way up to the master bedroom there's a staircase here that's not shown on the drawings. I figured that we could put an AC unit in here, a concealed one, or potentially we can stick it in the wardrobe here. The, the customer's okay with that. Um, there is also a mezzanine above this uh, master bedroom, which is shown down at the bottom on the drawings. So we have to account for that overall square meterage of both of those areas combined when we're looking at the volume of this space that we want to um, control the climate on. So that's a brief overview of what we're doing here, Nigel. Um, so the customer could have AC in this area and this area, although they haven't really expressed a, a want for it, but I think it it would be good um, to also deal with the guest bedroom and, and, and the office. They were mainly concerned with the master bed and that living room, but that master bedroom unit there, we, we've discussed that location and the customer's perfectly happy with that. Um, as for down in the wine store here, we will be needing to fit a chiller because they want to maintain about 15 degrees in that area so that will be something that will probably come from someone else but we'll try and incorporate that on the lock zone so the customer has some control of that uh, and that's it really so we'll uh, discuss this again more I'm sure and um, specify up the, the kit that's going to go in there with you